Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at this question on complex numbers. So it's from the 2016 paper. Z1 is equal to 1 plus 3i. Z2 is equal to 2 minus i. And of course, this is in every question, i squared is minus one, and these are two complex numbers. Let z3 equal z1 plus two times z2. Find z3 in the form a plus bi. Okay, so let's write down z3 is equal to z1 plus two times z2. Okay, so where they have z1, put in that complex number, one plus three i. And then it's two times where they have z2, put in that complex number. Okay, so with BOMDAS, we have to sort out the brackets first. So let's do that. There's nothing I can do with the one plus three i plus two twos are four, two by minus i or, or minus one i if you want. You can always put a one there. Two ones are two. So it's minus 2i. Okay, and then to, to uh, tidy it up, what you add, do is, is add reals to reals and imaginaries to imaginaries. Okay, that's what you always do in complex numbers. And you'll always recognize the imaginary part of a complex number because that's the part with the i. Okay, so add the reals to the reals. So you're going one plus four is five. And the next part, three i minus two i, three minus two is one or just simply i. Okay, and you can put in the one if you want. And that's in the form a plus b i. Okay, so that is your z3. Okay, so when you're told to add and, and or subtract complex numbers, um, it, it, it's not overly hard, okay? Just be careful of signs. And then this is the key. Reels to reels, imaginaries to imaginaries. Okay, so five plus one I. Part B then said, plot these on an Argand diagram, okay? So how do you plot any complex number? So I've said one is equal to one plus three i, z two was equal to two minus i, and we just found z three being equal to five plus i. Okay, so you plot them. Okay, so if I can, that's the real part of the imaginary number, and that's the imaginary part. That's my real part, the two. That's my imaginary part. That's my real part. That's my imaginary part. This is my real axis. This is my imaginary axis. Okay, so it's it's very like x comma y. Okay, except in this one we're doing real comma imaginary. Okay, that's how you plot. So to plot this one, one plus three i, it's over one on the real axis, which is like the old x axis, and it's up to plus three on the imaginary axis. So that is Z1. Okay, Z2 is two minus I. So over to two and down to minus one I. So that is my Z2. And then my Z3 is all the way over to five and up to one I. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Real first, then imaginary. Okay, the next part, investigate if the modulus of Z2 minus Z3 is equal to the modulus of uh, Z1 plus Z2. Okay, so because this is inside, I have to find a complex number in the form X plus YI for Z2 minus Z1. Okay, the modulus of a complex number is the square root of x squared plus y squared, okay? It's like Pythagoras' theorem. 
So therefore, I need a single answer, a single complex number for Z2 minus Z3 first so that I can plug it into this formula, OK? Because at the moment, I have, if I look at Z2 minus Z3, I have Z2 was 2 minus I. And it's minus. Now, be careful, because Z3 comes in two parts, the real and the imaginary. What was that? 5 plus I. OK, so that minus is going to change the signs of both parts of that complex number. So 2 minus I minus 5 minus I. OK, so it's minus 5 minus I. OK, and you can see now I have to tidy it up because that's not in the form X plus YI. OK, so that's in a real part. That's an imaginary part, a real part, an imaginary part. Remember what we said in the first part? Reels to reels, imaginaries to imaginaries. OK, so I'm going to go to um, minus 5 is minus 3. And then I have minus 1i, minus 1i to give me minus 2i. OK, so that now it's in the form x plus yi. OK, so that's my x part and then that's my y part. So now I can get the modulus of Z2 minus Z3, OK? Because it's the modulus of minus 3 minus 2i, OK? So it's the square root of, this is in effect is my x part, this is in effect my y part, not the i, OK? Just the number before it. It's a bit like the minus b formula, we don't put in the x's, here we never put in the i's, OK? So it's the square root of the x part squared plus the y part squared. OK, I'm just filling it into that. So if you put that into the calculator, it's the square root of 9 plus 4. So it's root 13. OK, so I've got the square root of 13 for that first bit on the left. Now I have to figure out x1 plus x2. OK, so x1 plus x2. And again, I need an, a single expression, x plus yi, before I can get the modulus of it. So x1 was 1 plus 3i plus x2, which was 2 minus i. OK, uh, it's not as tricky. You can see that when it's a plus. I, I have to be much less, much less careful. It's only when it's a minus there that you should be really careful. But again, it's reals to reals, imaginaries to imaginaries. OK, that's a real part. That's an imaginary, that's a real, that's an imaginary. You always know the imaginaries because they're the eyes. So you group them together. So one and two is three. Three I minus I is two I. Okay, so now I can get the modulus of Z1 plus Z2 uh, because it's the modulus of three plus two I. Okay, so it's the square root of three squared plus two squared which is again the square root of 9 plus 4, which is again root 13. OK, so watch that, OK, or, or can you spot it? The signs don't matter, OK, when it comes to the length of the distance from the origin. And that's because a minus number or a plus number squared gives you the same answer. Minus by minus is a plus, plus by plus is a plus. OK, so we conclude then, so that's math language for therefore, the modulus of Z2 minus Z3 is equal to the modulus of Z1 plus Z2. OK, a lovely way to finish any sum. See, can you get a therefore into it? OK, and then the last part, not surprisingly, is testing to see, can you divide complex numbers? OK, so it's telling you find the complex number W that is Z1 over Z2. OK, so Z1 was 1 plus 3i. Z2 was 2 minus i. OK, so you'll know that from our previous work. What do we do? Well, remember, you're not allowed to divide by complex numbers by 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 complex numbers, so we need to change that to a real number, OK? And you will always get a real number when you multiply a complex number 
by what's called its conjugate. And its conjugate is to change the sign of the imaginary part. Not the real part, just the imaginary part. Uh, because by doing that, you'll cause the imaginary pieces when I multiply them to cancel. And of course, what I do to the bottom, I must also do to the top. Okay. And then you go mad multiplying. So it is one by everything in the second bracket. And go back for the plus three i by everything in the second bracket. Down my bottom, two by everything in the second bracket. Minus i by everything in the second bracket. Okay, so let's multiply that out. So one by two is two plus i plus three twos are six i plus i squared over two twos are four plus two i minus two i minus by plus is a minus i squared. Okay, remember i squared is equal to minus one and plus two i minus two i cancels. Okay, they have to cancel. This is the whole reason we do this, okay? And I, I did say we have to make it a real number. I squared is not considered an imaginary number because I squared is equal to minus one, which is a real number, okay? So that's my next job. I'm gonna sub in for that minus one. So I'm going to get two on the top, plus i plus six i plus minus one. And on the bottom, I'm left with four minus minus one. Okay, so let's tidy that up on the top. I have two minus one is one. And I have six i and one i is seven i. Over four minus minus is a plus over five. Okay. Um, it wants the answer in the form a plus b i. So break it up into its real part. and its imaginary part, okay? So both of those parts are over i, so it's the same thing to write it as one over five plus seven over five i, or seven i over five, okay? And that is your answer to w. That's what w is equal to. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.